When you're in the datasheet view for your tables or queries, you can actually change the formatting of it. So I got my query here in the datasheet view. If I want to change the formatting, like you can see here, we've got banded rows. Every other row is white, and the other color, alternating color, is gray, light gray. So that way, when your eyes are looking at this record right here, IT, hopefully they don't start going down. And if they do, you can see another color and go, oop, I'm off track. Let me go back to the original color white. So to go ahead and change the formatting, the alternating color, or to see what other formats you can change, just come up here on the Home tab, go over to the text formatting, and there you go. You can go ahead and click on this drop down arrow for alternating row color and say that we want something, ooh, red accent to lighter 60%. That's a fun color. Select that. And so it updates the alternating row color from a light gray to that nice red accent. And then you can come up here, click on the drop down arrow, choose something else. You can even change the size of the font here, even the font type. Or you can click on the expandable dialog box button. And ooh, it gets more persnickety, a little bit more detailed. You can have raised, and oh, there's the preview. Oh, that's nice, a background color, something not too dark, maybe a little bit lighter. And that's going to be the background color that includes, well, the entire area here. And we can change the grid line color, maybe something purple-ish. I can barely see it. In any case, go ahead and click Okie Dokie. And now, after you've made all those changes, and you're like, oh, I don't like that. Well, you can do one of two things. You can either go ahead and go back and set it back to the way it was because there's no reset button here. In which case, if you already saved it, you can open up another query or table, double click, and then come up here and click on the drop down arrow and choose more colors and try to find out the RGB 244 for red, green, and blue. Memorize that and then come back here to that awful looking data sheet format and then go ahead and Click on the drop down arrow and, well, choose the color here or go to more colors and then type in 244. You can do that, or if you didn't save it, the easiest thing to do is to go ahead and close out, not save it. Let me close out of that one too. And then when you go back to it, it was weekly pay by department, double click, or back to where we started. Now you can do it that way, or if you just want to change the font size, not just for this data sheet, but across the board for all data sheets. Then come up here, click on the File tab, go backstage down to Options, and you want to select the Data Sheet category here, or the tab, and then come down. When well, you got some defaults, you can do your raise, sunken, but that applies across the board. I was thinking more of the size here. Let's do something very huge, 16, and click Okie Dokie, and okay, well, this one's already open, so if we close out, and then we double click to open it back up again, oh, that's huge. So if you don't like that, double click on any one of these, then of course just go back and unlike this right here, the text formatting group, where you have to go back and change it to the way it was, this one, well, you do too. But at least this one's easier because I'm not messing with so many variables, at least when it comes to the size here, because I remember the default was 11, click okie dokie, and then close out of all these, then double click, and we're back to where we started. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.